Hello, my name is Alan Hong, Strategic Marketing Manager here at Thoracic Technologies. Today, I'll be showing you exactly how you'll be able to get your LCD on your DE2-115 to display those famous words, Hello World. For this training exercise, as I mentioned before, I'll be using Thoracic's DE2-115 Development Kit, which is powered by an Altera Cyclone 4 115,000 logic element FPGA. We'll be exploring the use of getting started with the system builder, structuring your system on programmable chip, and much more. Over the course of this tutorial, I'll be using Cordis 9.1 and Neos 2 9.1. So now we can get started by going to our system builder software to build our system. So over here we have our standard DE2115 getting started with the system builder. And since we're going to be just showing Hello World on our LCD, we're not going to need that many components. So let's just get rid of our PS2, PGA, SDRAM, SRAM, audio, Ethernet, decoder. We won't need any of these components. We'll need our LCD, SD card we won't. We won't need our switches, some segments, or RS-232s. And we'll name our project name Hello world. So we'll, since that's done, we'll click on generate and we'll save it. Our Cordis project was successfully generated. Press OK and we'll click on exit. So now we can go into the code generated folder and we'll see that we automatically have a folder for our DE2115. Open it and we'll go into our world folder. So now we have our five generated files. We can click on our project file, which is the QPF file, and we'll click on it to open it. So now we're greeted with the Cordis 2 interface. Um, if we open up our Hello World, our top module, we can see that the Thoracic System Builder has already generated code for us. And our components are clock, LEDs, and our keys and LCDs is right here. So right away, we can click on our SOPC Builder. And we'll be naming our SLPC system NEOS for this time. Open that, we'll maximize this window. So the first thing we want to do is to, of course, have our NEOS 2 processor. We'll be choosing the most basic one for this one. Click on NEOS2 slash E, and we can accept all of the default values and just click on Finish. Over here, we want to rename our CPU underscore zero to CPU, and we'll go right click and we'll click on Rename and do CPU. Next, we're going to add our JTAG interface. And for those of you who need an introduction to the SOPC Builder, there's another video titled, titled so, uh, My First Neos 2. And you can look more into that to get more information on all of these components. So here we're going to add a JTAG UART for communication between our PC and our FPGA. We can accept these default values and click on Finish. Likewise, we'll rename this to JTAG UR. And now what we need is our character LCD. So we get that peripherals, FPGA peripherals, oops, um, display. Our character LCD, we can click on finish over here. And lastly, we're going to need um, 
a memory for our CPU. And we'll be using on-chip memory for that. So we'll exit our peripherals. And then we'll go to memories, memory controllers, on-chip memory, on-chip memory. So here all we have to do is increase the size of our memory to 204800. And we can click on finish. Rename that to on chip memory 2. So here we have some warnings saying CPU instruction master um, cannot be at 0, 0200 0, 0, and here. And also here to do CPU no reset vector. So for the bottom warnings over here, we have to specify a reset vector and exception vector. So we'll go to our CPU. Reset vector will be our on-chip memory, and our exception vector will also be our on-chip memory too. Click on finish. That gets rid of those two. And for these two warnings, we'll just go up to system, auto assign base addresses. Click on that. And now we have no errors or warnings. And since everything is complete, we can click on generate. Save. Okay, now our system generation was successful. We can go ahead and click on exit. So our system generation was successful. We can go over to our top on our left. We'll have our folder icon, which means open, and we'll click on that. And you'll see that we've generated a lot of um, Verilog files over here. Our main one being Neos, which was from our SOPC builder. So we'll open that. And we'll go down and we'll do a search for NEOS to find our main module. Okay, so here we have our main module, our module NEOS. We'll copy this over to our top level module and paste that in. And we'll do our declaration. So NEOS, NEOS. Zero. Our clock will be our standard clock 50, which we'll copy from the top, paste it down here. Our reset will declare as just one for this demonstration. And our LCD enable will get from here. Our RS we'll get from here LCD RW right from here and basically we're just mapping the corresponding pins to each of the SOPC components so the LCD data to and from LC LCD, that would be our LCD data. You'll, you'll notice that we have two extra remaining pins that are inside, ported into it. We will, which is our LCD backlight. And over here we'll assign equals to one. And we'll also assign LCD on equals to 1. And that should take care of it. So now that we have the top level module, we can go ahead and save. And we can click on generate. Start our start compilation. So our full compilation was successful. We can click on OK. 
So now with that done, we can go to the top to our programmer. We'll click on our programmer and we'll make sure we have USB Blaster here at the top. Hello world.sof and with program configure checked, we'll click on start and program RDE2115 Cyclone 4 FPGA. And since the progress bar is now 100%, we can open up our NEOS2 IDE. With the NEOS2 IDE open, we'll maximize this. We'll switch to our workspace. So we'll do this by going to our target folder, hello world. Click OK. And we'll establish a new software folder within our hello world folder. Click on OK. Great. Now we'll go to our workbench. As we can see, our project folder over here is empty. We still have to establish a new project. So we'll go over to File, New, Neos2C slash C++ Application. Click on that. Hello World Zero. We'll specify our, le our location. Code generated. Yes. Um, for Windows, for users of Windows that do not have English interface, you might have to notice not to ha include desktop inside of your folder path because that might generate some errors for Neos. But if you have English, it should be fine. Um, so select target hardware. We'll browse to our target folder. So we have D2115, hello world, and we'll click on our Neos. PTF. Now the PTF is a file that was generated which includes all of our system variables. Um, it was generated by the SOPC builder and it has our CPU in it. And we'll start out with hello world. So the first thing we want to do is to test whether our SOPC builder generated successfully or not. Uh, the way we could do that is to run this simple hello world test. So we'll go over to our generated file, which is our hello world underscore zero and our hello world underscore zero system library. And we'll right click on the first folder, go down to run as, go to Neos2 hardware. And it'll start building automatically. So now that the build is complete, we can go ahead and start launching. And we can see that we have a successful Hello from Neos 2. Great. So we'll go ahead and stop this. And we'll see that exiting here. And we'll modify this program to display our Hello World on our LCD. So we already have our standard input output included. We want to include two other files, which is our standard library .h and our system .h. If you don't know what system .h is, it's your system, it's an automatically generated um, system description file. Uh, for more information, please refer to the video, uh, my first Neos 2. So, with that included, we'll modify, we'll create a whole new function, we'll call it hello world function. And... We'll have it here, hello world. And now to define our function. Hello world void. So
So we'll do a file declaration for the pointer. And we'll have our character. Hello world. So our PLCD will equal to F open LCD name. Right. The LCD name is included in the system value file. So if P L C D F right C hello with our string length S C hello one P L C D and we'll also close our LCD after this is done writing. If that's not successful, then we'll have a print f failed to say hello world. And that should be the end of our function. So now that's done, we can go ahead and build our and launch it as well. Our hello.world.c has been modified. Save changes. Yes. If you look over to your DE2115 at this very moment, you'll see that Hello World is displayed on your LCD. So if you have any questions, please mail them to support at thoracic.com.tw. We hope you enjoyed this video demonstration for training purposes, and if you have any comments or questions, please email them to us. Thank you very much.